Hi everyone, and you are welcome to Context Manager's Special Methods Lecture. When we hear the term Context Managers, the first thing that we have to remember in Python actually is the keyword with, which usually used with Context Managers. And the most common example in Context Manager is the following. When I use with keyword in order to open a file for reading or writing data from or inside this file. And usually we use with keyword with files in order to guarantee closing the file after we do all the required processing that we need, even though an error could happen while we process the file data. And in order to learn how to make your object able to be used with with keyword in Python, join me in this lecture. In this lecture, I will start talking about what context managers special methods are. Then I will talk about the available context managers special methods. Then we will learn how to override these special methods. And as usual, I'll end up this lecture by a quick summary. So let's get started. Before we talking about these special methods, I want to talk about context managers in general. Usually, context managers allow setup and clean up resources for objects when their creation is wrapped with a with statement. Examples about resources that need clean up after we finish using them are databases. Because usually when I use database, I connect to this database, I read or write some data, and at the end, I have to close the connection with this database. And context manager is something great for that. Now let's talk about context manager special methods. Simply, these methods are the methods that are used to define the behavior of the context manager. In other words, what to do when we enter the block of code of with statement and what to do when we want to leave this code block. In the previous slide, I've mentioned that we have to define two things for the context manager. We have to define what to do at the beginning of the code block of with statement and what to do at the end of this code block. And for this reason, you will see that under this category, we have two methods. We have dunder enter and dunder exit. The first one, define the behavior that the context manager should do at the beginning of the code block of with statement. And usually this method return the value that's assigned to the variable after with key statement if any variable is there. The second method, which is dunder exit, define the behavior that the context manager should do after the block code of with statement has been executed or if it's terminated. Usually, this code block could be terminated if one exception happens while we executing the code of with statement. We have to know that when an exception occurs, this method will receive exception type, exception value, and traceback arguments in order to know the details of this exception, which will allow you as a programmer know what to do if you want to handle this exception. Now let's move to Jupyter Notebook in order to see some code examples about these context managers.